Alrighty guys, look, welcome back to the channel. Today's show is all about the best burger. I am talking about the old style of cooking a burger compared to the new style of cooking a burger. So look, my name is Tommy, and of course this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So look, I am gonna go over three styles of cooking a burger today. First off is gonna be the old style. I am talking about a Weber kettle with some plain old charcoal with that 80-20 thrown right on top. And then we are gonna do a slow smoke reverse seared. That is gonna be flame finished. And of course, what would a burger be without an old double smash burger? I am talking three ounce pack. So look, that is the three methods that I am going to go over today, and we are going to do that taste test at the end because I want to know which is going to produce the best burger, and it is all going to start now. Let's get on over to the kettle. Let's drop that coal in, get that fire bed going. Then we will jump on over to the pellet grill, fire that up, and then it is off to the griddle to fire that up. So first up, we will jump on over to our Weber kettle. I'll get a mix of lump and some B&B charcoal in there. And then we will move on over to our pellet grill. We will fire that up. I will initially start it at 250, and then I will back it down to that smoke setting or under 200. Yeah. got the Weber kettle all heating up. I got my halo griddle all turned on and ready to go. I want to keep that temperature under 200. It is flanked with my chef temp to make sure that is exactly where it stays. The trick here for me is to have all three of these burgers finishing around the same time. First up on about a 45 minute smoke on the reverse sear. Let's get that halo griddle up first. Let's look at our burgers down here on the board and let's start the show. So we are gonna go with an 80-20 for this cook. You see our smash, our Weber, and also the pellet grill burger. I am gonna salt and pepper both sides up right before they hit the pit. And as you could see, first going in is going to be the Halo Pellet Grill Burger. And I did not have my close-up camera on, and I didn't even notice it, but my backup camera comes through. All righty, so look, like I said, we are looking at about a 45-minute smoke. That is the... Uh that is the usual temperature under 200 to get that uh, to get enough smoke on the uh, burger. So I'll probably bring you guys back in about maybe about a half hour, 35 minutes or so. We are about 35 minutes into the cook, and I did go ahead. I pulled off that burger. I got it here on the board. I've got the pellet grill all jacked up to about 450. We are going to get some direct flame on that. In the meantime, I am gonna jump on over to the Weber kettle. I wanna get that burger on, get that going. Once almost done, it is right on off to the uh, smash burger and I will have three burgers going at the same time, so wish me luck. This cook here is gonna start moving fast. We will get our Weber kettle burger on and I can tell you that pit there is up and over 500. So I definitely have to be careful. I will get it moved over to a little bit of flame. We definitely want to flame kiss it. I mean, hey, this is the old 70s, 80s backyard burger. And there you go. At that point, it is gonna be over to our pellet grill. We have the uh, we have the little sear plate opened up there. I will get that uh, get that burger on. I will jump back over to the Weber kettle. There are gonna be a lot of back and forth jumping. You can see we got an internal of 122. That is perfect. I will get the cheese on. Then I will jump back on over to the pellet grill. We will give that a flip. That was about a two, two and a half minutes. We got some good color on there. There is no doubt about it. We'll get the cheese on that burger. So we've got the kettle cheese. We've got the pellet grill cheese. We will jump on over to the griddle. We are 500 plus surface. That is perfect. It is back on over to the kettle. You can see we got a little bit of toasty on that, uh, on that burger, man. Hey, what are you going to do? A lot of stuff is going on. 
but you could see we definitely got some juice in that burger. It is smash burger time. We will try to hold it for about eight to 10 seconds. Things are definitely happening and things are definitely happening fast. Oh, hell yeah. So once smashed down, we will jump on over to the pellet grill. We will remove that reverse sear and that is a good looking burger right there. I could tell I nailed that sucker for sure. At that point, let's move on over to the griddle. We will get that flipped over. You know the griddle. Once you flip them on the smash burgers, you got to get the cheese on. So cheese goes on. And just like that, we were melted. We will top them. We will get that on over to the board. Get it on the bun. And that is a good looking smash burger right there. Man, I am definitely pumped about this. Yeah. Alrighty, look, so that was a uh, little bit nerve-wracking for sure. It is uh, never easy when you're in a confined space like this and you got three things going. I do hope I nailed all the temps. We shall see. Let's go in with that taste test. We got the uh, classic smash burger. We've got the uh, Weber kettle and also the reverse sear over here. Let's go in with that smash burger and cheers. Oh man, it's a smash burger. You know, what could one say, man? I read it all the time on the, uh, on the different groups on Facebook and people just don't understand how a smash burger could be so good when you're squeezing all the juices out of them, whatever. I am telling you, man, that is a, uh, that is a 10 out of 10. Let's go in with that Weber. So look, we held a, uh, I would say we held probably a medium on that Weber. That is good enough. And it is definitely juicier than the Smash Burger. And that right there is too close to call. Now for the reverse sear. So I gotta tell you, man, and I gotta be fair here. I nailed the temp on the, uh, on the reverse sear. As you can see, we are a good medium rare there and that is the flavor that I enjoy. Early call, reverse sear gets it. Let's go in one more time. All right guys, so look for me. On this one, it is quite simple and it is easily the reverse sear is the uh, is the best flavored burger of these three right here. And again, I did cook it the best. It has hit in my temperature of that medium rare. Definitely has a lot of smoke with that Manchester pellets and also that Halo pellet grill, man. Definitely has got a lot of smoke in it. Add that flame to it and it is just the better burger for me. The close second, and I mean close, is gonna go to that smash burger and that Weber kettle, which is, ah, I gotta say, is a little bit overcooked for my liking, is definitely gonna be the uh, third place out of these three. So look, that is it for me. What is your favorite burger? How is your favorite burger cooked? Leave that down in the description. Maybe that is a uh, another show, and that is gonna end this one. It is about 100 degrees out here today. I am definitely dying, but it has been a fun cook. I will get these in the house. A little bit for Molly, a little bit for me, and a little bit put away for later. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon.